The resurrection of a strongman leader seven years ago ended a long period of revolving door premiership in Japan and jolted the ailing economy back to life. Mr. Abe has overseen Japan's longest stretch of economic growth in a generation, and his Abenomics program has coincided with a global upswing that's helped the country break out of an economic malaise. But with two years left in his third and last term, the prospects of the unraveling of Mr. Abe's signature economic policies are growing. In 1979, Harvard professor Ezra Voger published the book Japan as Number One. At that time, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was just 25. Mr. Vogel's book extolled the country's rise as a global economic powerhouse and became an instant hit. It was a time when Japan was the envy of the world. Then came the 1990s, when Japan's economic bubble burst, ushering in the lost decades. As Japan trudged through the economic malaise in the following decades, Shinzo Abe would rise through the ranks of the Liberal Democratic Party. In 2007, he became the country's first Prime Minister to have been born after World War II and his youngest since the war. Mr. Abe's first stint as Prime Minister in 2007 was disastrous. It was marked by scandals and health issues. So few expected him to make a stunning comeback just five years later as the unlikely economic messiah who would go on to unleash monetary easing on a scale never seen before. In April 2013, the Bank of Japan shocked the global financial markets. The central bank said it would inject about $1.4 trillion into the economy in two years to achieve a 2% inflation rate. Adjusting for the size of its economy, Japan's program will be twice as large as the US Federal Reserve's quantitative easing program in the years following the 2008 global financial crisis. Then newly minted BOJ Governor Haruhiko Kuroda was leading the charge to carry out Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's package of unorthodox economic measures that was promptly dubbed Abenomics. Abenomics comprises three arrows that consist of bold monetary policies, fiscal management and growth strategies that stimulate private sector investments. The BOJ's radical move reaped immediate success. The yen weakened as a result of the unprecedented monetary easing, helping to boost exports and resume economic growth, while unemployment in Japan was reduced to its lowest levels in more than two decades. あの、金融緩和、この一つ進めたと。これによってデフレでない状況を作り出したということ。それと同時に、人材生成策、ま、経済対策、大規模な経済対策を取った。それと同時に、え、未来に向かっての成長戦略、これも打ち出したと。この3
and its products have now achieved commercial success in countries like Bangladesh, where they are sold directly to municipalities and individual consumers. なんとかこれを世界に広めようという協力を政府がしてくれてる。こういうことはねなかったのよこれまで。それとアベノミクスで最も安倍政権になって強いのは積極的に海外に出るってことだな。Mr. Abe won global applause for finally breaking Japan's economy out of the great stagnation, but the momentum quickly shifted. Japan's economy contracted after a consumption tax hike from 5% to 8% in April 2014. Mr. Abe promptly dissolved parliament that same year and secured a fresh mandate for his fledgling economic reforms. But the pace of reforms, the third era of Abenomics, has since been disappointing. Mr. Abe has been criticized for betting it all on just one arrow, the central bank, to steer the economy out of deflation. In January 2016, the Bank of Japan once again shocked the global market, this time by introducing a negative interest rate as it consistently missed its inflation target of 2%. The move was widely seen as an admission on the central bank's part that its massive monetary easing is losing its efficacy. Abenomics promised a new dawn for Japan. But seven years on, the scars of the decades-long economic stagnation are still ever so visible in many sectors. During that decade, I just uh, the, uh, watched a lot of cases of bankruptcy. So that's a very difficult experience for many business people. やっぱり過去20年その失われた20年でそれによってま大変な思いをしたのは若い人だと思います。若い人の仕事がですねなかなか見つからない。若い人の必要率が分かっていく。そういった状況が過去20年ありました。but the curse of the lost decades didn't stop at that generation. As Japan struggled to shake off its economic malaise in the last three decades, millions of children were born into poverty. The parents of these needy children belong to Japan's lost generation, or workers who entered the workforce during the long years of economic stagnation. Many found it hard to make ends meet, and their children have been called the silent casualties of Japan's lost decades. I'm going to meet some of these children. This cafeteria is one of almost 4,000 that have sprouted up in Japan in recent years. They were set up to deal with a problem born out of Japan's years of economic stagnation, child poverty. In 2015, Japan's child poverty rate stood at 13.9%, one of the highest in the developed world. This means that one in every seven children below 18 was in a household living on less than half the national median for disposable income. <laughs> あと、仕事をしてもなかなか、え、続かない子供とか、あの、例えば中卒で、え、仕事をしてもなかなか、あの、自立して自分でこう暮らせるような収入が得られなかったり、そういう問題にもつながっていきますし、ま、本当に貧
This particular children's cafeteria was set up in 2013 and serves those aged between 4 and 15 years old twice a month. Besides food, it also serves as a place for the children to hang out and to learn. So, eh, なかなか日本ではなかなか日本では見かけでは難しいか難しくないかとか分からないので、いろんな子どもたちが来る中、ちょっと育てる手が足りなかったり、何か困っていたらサポートできるという形で、いろんな子どもたちが来れるような場所に
It's been four decades since the book Japan as Number One hit the shelves. Since then, much has changed. Well, Japan, after two, the late 90, 2010 and two, after 2020s, is a period. Well, it's not as good as Japanese period, where the, the, the Japan number one period. That was the year 1980s and nine, early 1990s. But not the period of the birth of bubble period. And um, Japan, new normal kind of Japan is coming up. That is a new period. That this year is a first year by Reiwa. That Reiwa is a beginning of the new model of Japan. The economists believe that even though Abenomics has fallen short of many of its targets, the economic policy has created the conditions for Japan to take on the new era in which Japan will face new challenges including a fast shrinking population and labour shortages. Well, in terms of the bubble is concerned, it's, um, it's the old story, so not, not right now. But the mentality is still conservative, so it's not so easy because they are living in the area or difficult situation for more than 10 or 20, 30 period. So um, they're still not so confident about it. But at least we can say this kind of issue cycle was, was completed. And um, well, Japan is a nation of making use of the uh, robotics, so making use of the well, IT level, IT kind of situations. So compensate some, uh, some aspects of the difficulty in terms of the population growth is concerned. But not completed yet. To find out more about this new Japan, from Tokyo, I traveled 500 kilometers to Osaka, Japan's third largest city, where I was told that companies are ready to break the mold in the face of a demographic crisis. To plug labor shortages, more companies are seeking to attract and retain female employees by providing them with greater professional opportunities. One of them is Japanese gas company Osaka Gas. Today, while the company has about the same ratio of female employees it had 10 years ago, more of them are in higher level positions. やはり意思決定の立場に女性が立つというのは非常に重要だと思っていまして、そこはあの数だけではなくてきっちりとあの意見を発することそうすることによっていろんな考え方がビジネス経営層の中にも入ってくると思っていますそういうことが非常に重要
while the demographic time bomb is ticking, the next big test for Abenomics is really the scheduled consumption tax increase from 8% to 10% in October. The last time the government raised consumption tax, it hit the economy hard, undoing much of what the central bank had achieved with its unprecedented monetary easing. The situation is further complicated by the ongoing trade war between Washington and Beijing. But government advisers argued that the tax hike is inevitable, given Japan's fast aging population and ballooning welfare costs. But that tax is not just uh, used for returning the debt, it's used for expanding social security services. So from a viewpoint of the macroeconomic condition, it is actually tax increase and expansion increase at the same time. And so it is very consistent with just anti-deflation policy by my day policy. And also we have to always thinking about just the policy uh, coordination between my day policy and fiscal policy. And increasing consumption tax is necessary for us to prepare for the aging society where we are going to have more expansion on social security. But in order to just continue just uh, the anti-deflationary conditions, maybe my type policy uh, have more important law for stimulating. With the economic recovery still on shaky footing, Japan could ill afford a return to the old days of revolving door and endless policy blunders. あの、Abenomics has brought Japan out of its long and painful years of economic stagnation. But Japan's economic outlook remains far from robust. And with the clock ticking on Mr Abe's third and presumably final term, hopes for a new economic dawn for Japan could very well rest on a country's next leader.